Hey what's going on guys, my name is Brad, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another Reigns video. Today we got some brand new information regarding the cast of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns as well as some of the new characters that have officially been announced. We don't know anything about those characters, their motives, where they fit in regards to the plot and who they actually are in the real world. As you can see on screen right now, we got a total of one, two, three, four new characters announced today as well as voice actors for pretty much everyone that we're going to be seeing in the show so far. So obviously going from you know top left to bottom right. We've got uh, Shoya Ishige who's going to be playing Yusaku, Takahiro Sakurai who's going to be playing the mysterious AI, uh, Subaru Kimura who's going to be playing Shoichi Kusanagi, Chihiro Swashiro who's going to be playing Naoki Shima, Daiki Hamano who's going to be playing Go Onizuka, Yuki Nakashima who's going to be playing Aoi Zaizen, Shoma Yam Yamamoto who's going to be playing Akira Zaizen, Yuna Kamakura who's going to be playing Emma Beso, and Shunzuke Takeuchi who's going to be playing Revolver. And for the rest of this video I'm going to be speculating on what I think these characters are going to be like in the show, uh, where they fit within the plot, where they fit with Yusaku and all that lot, because we haven't actually got any more information apart from that. We do have an episode 1 summary, uh, however that will be after all of this lot because it hasn't been translated yet as of the time of recording. So first of all let's start with Shoichi Kusanagi. Now for starts I'm loving this guy's design. He's got purpley dark purple hair, it's, it is very normal, which I like. I like uh, Zaizen Aoi's hair because it's normal. Um, and this guy's hair looks, you know, relatively normal for a Yu-Gi-Oh show. Uh, you know, he's a very, very old person. I think this guy's going to either be, I was originally going to say a school teacher, but now we know that this is a guy that Yusaku faces in the first episode. This is a hacker who is, uh, I believe, working for the Knights of Hanoi, or if not, then uh, he's just, uh, you know, a hacker in the Link Frame system, and he's the guy that Yusaku is going to go against in the first episode. Now if this doesn't scream recurring character to you, I don't know what else will, but I hope we see him a lot in the show going forward. Next we have Naoki Shima, who to me reminds me of Bronk from uh, Zale, I believe that was his name, um, but also reminds me of a bully character and like Kudaragi from Dark Souls Dimensions, it really reminds me of him for some reason. I hope this guy is just one of like the initial uh, quote unquote enemies or just challenges Yusaku has to face throughout the early episodes of the show and he's not as big of a role as it could have been or maybe he is and maybe he'll you know, eventually see the error of his ways and he'll become one of Yusaku's friends along the line but I don't want him to start out as one of Yusaku's friends because this guy really does look like a bully um, and I don't think Yusaku would want to be in with that type of crowd especially considering that he is quite a, uh, a laid-back shy person if we remember back to the original uh, the original news regarding Yusaku when it was first announced. Obviously we've seen Go, we've seen Aoi. The next new character is Akira Zaizen. Now this guy I believe has the same voice actor as Five from Zale, uh, the Japanese dubber that is. And obviously Akira Zaizen, Aoi Zaizen, these guys are family. Now a lot of people I've been seeing are thinking this guy might be his her brother, but I think it's going to be her father. And not just that, I think this guy is going to be the leader of the SOL technology company, the company whose uh, AI technology has been stolen by Yusaku, I think that was what the plot line was. I think there could be a really cool dynamic with this because Yusaku could have this AI which could be that mysterious creature we see at the top and he could ask Aoi, his daughter, to go and face Yusaku and you know to track him down to spy on him uh, for him so he can get some inside information and so he can hunt Yusaku down and retrieve that AI. Now what I would like is if Aoi doesn't actually you know tell Yusaku about this and you know throughout the show Throughout these first couple of episodes, those two actually do come into contact. They have a battle that isn't just, you know, a standard duel in, in Link Reigns. It's going to be something a little bit more dangerous and a bit more... There's a bit more high stakes involved with it, I think. And uh, I think that will be sort of like how Yusaku and Aoi kind of bond and have, like, the beginning of their actual friendship. If they're not, you know... that We know they're classmates in real life, but we don't think that they are, you know classmates and friends they're not like interacting with each other on a daily basis stuff like that so that could be the start of their friendship which i think would be quite a cool plot point to go along and then like he just kind of looks a bit evil so you know maybe there's some ulterior motive behind his actions and maybe he's going to be you know a a villain character throughout uh, later on in the show which would be quite cool to see and finally for new characters we have emma besso which is the most english name we have here obviously emma just spelled with one m instead of the usual two but I'm really liking her design, it's kind of like a mixture of um, Yuzu's and Grace Tyler's I'd like to say from Mark V. To me it reminds me of a VR form, that's what it kind of, I kind of think this is a VR form because we don't know whether all of these are or not and we can only assume 
the four male characters, the three male characters are because, or aren't VR forms, because of their clothing, because they seem to be wearing real world clothing, whereas the other ones are wearing, you know, outfits and stuff. Whereas we can't really see much of Emma right now, but you know, just her hairstyle, it seems the most radical apart from Yusaku's. So it could be in VR, it could be outside of VR. It's something I'd really, really, really like to see this, this character here just, I don't know, it kind of, the thing that's making me think it's in VR is the eyes. Because if you've seen close up of Aoi's eyes and you've seen close up of Yusaku and close up of Go, they have these really, really bold black makeup on around their eyes and they all have it in VR, but they don't have it outside of VR, which is something really, really cool and it's a nice feature they've sort of implemented across all of the characters throughout the show so far. So I'd like to see her be, you know, a VR character. Design-wise, looks really nice. I kind of prefer her design to Aoi's uh, VR form. I think it looks a little bit more uh, as I expected for a VR form for a female character in the show. But nonetheless, it's still really cool. And obviously, there's Revolver in the bottom right-hand corner. We speculated about him in the video the other day. But that's going to be it for the video today, discussing the characters of Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below regarding your thoughts and opinions on this. I'd like to discuss them with you in whatever detail you want. Go crazy. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. See you then.